So needless to say, we have a lot of problems facing the country, and uh, Republican Congressman Steve King decided to tackle some of them in a speech on the floor of the House. Let's watch. Experiment that's going on in our military, the greatest military in the history of the world. And when the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Gomer, talks about how history will be written one day, this isn't a civilization killer, but it's an indication of a civilization killer. I think of the circumstances in a little bit older history, back in the 16th century and the 17th century, when the Ottoman Empire and the Muslim armies were sweeping across the countryside, and whoever they captured, they pressed into slavery. And when they pressed them into slavery, they wanted to have their, their crack troops. Uh, they were called Janissaries. And there were other troops, too, as well. But what they did, in order to keep them uh, in order to keep them from, re from to keep them from reproducing, was that they did reassignment surgery on those slaves that they captured that they had put into their janissary troops. And that reassignment surgery was they took them from being a virile reproductive male into being a eunuch. Now they were suitable to work in the harem, but they found out when they put them out in the field to do battle against the enemy that they didn't have the testosterone to take on the fight. And so over a period of time, a generation or two, they finally realized, I guess we're going to have to stop turning these men into eunuchs if we're going to have them as a fighting machine. That's the Janissaries. And there's the, the, the old history through that is replete with narrative after narrative of them taking out the knife and actually cutting these anatomically complete men flush. Some would die from that, and some would live, but none of them had the will to fight. And so they decided that they were going to keep anatomically complete men, men that were producing testosterone, in their crack Janissary troops where they fought well. That's a lesson of the military, the Ottoman military from two, three, four hundred years ago. And today we're here thinking somehow we're going to make the military better by letting people line up at their recruitment center who have planned that they want to do sexual reassignment surgery, know that it's expensive, and believe, if I can just get into any branch of the United States services, to the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, maybe become a Navy SEAL, and then submit to sexual reassignment surgery and go from a man to a woman. By the way, it doesn't look like there's going to be any women going to men after they go through SEAL training. I don't think that's going to happen, at least in the current. But there's no way that this enhances the capabilities of our military. There's no way it enhances the morale of our military. Dude, he did a whole rant against trans people in the military. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We live in a country where uh, we have millions of people who don't have health care. Uh, half the country makes $30,000 a year or less. The country's falling apart at the seams. Our infrastructure gets a grade of D+. Plus. We have seven different wars going on at the moment. And, um... <laughs> Steve King, a congressman, feels like this is the most important issue to talk about. That's unbelievable. Oh, could you imagine the way this guy's mind works? Okay, but the best part is... <laughs> look at... Look at his reasoning. <laughs> he says, you know, the Ottoman Empire, they would uh, capture people, make them slaves, chop off their dick and balls, <laughs> and then tell them to go fight. And they didn't want to fight. <laughs> now, obviously, that's the reason we shouldn't allow trans people in the military. Hey, Steve, maybe the reason they didn't want to fight is because they were castrated slaves. Maybe you don't want to fight for the people who castrated you and now own you like your property. Maybe that. Maybe trans people who are willing to fight and they want to be in the military, maybe that's different. Maybe people who voluntarily choose to be trans and to go in the military, maybe that's a little different than fucking castrated slaves, you gargantuan idiot! You are the dumbest fucking person! That rant made Louis Gohmert look like Noam Chomsky. Oh my god, you're so stupid, Steve King. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He really couldn't piece together that maybe the slaves don't want to fight because they're slaves. Castrated slaves! 
uh, this guy's a congressman. He's a congressman. He's a congressman. <sighs> there are 10-year-olds who are more rational than Steve King. <laughs> 